Let's get back now to that craziness that comes with basketball during this month and this time of year. The biggest story uh, of the men's tournament, at least, comes out of Fort Collins. The CSU men making it into their first NCAA tournament in about 10 years. And to talk about that, I want to welcome in Ella Fredrickson and Madeline Davis. They are from CTV Sports. That's the Colorado State student-run TV station. Joining me now from some for, with some inside insight there from Fort Collins. Ella, I'll start with you. Give me your reaction seeing this team in the tournament. No, I mean, just knowing that it had been since 2013 that this team had made the tournament and growing up watching this tournament every single year. It's incredible that I get to be a student fan now. You know, I got to be a part of those court storms. I get to report on all these players that I go to school with. And now to be able to travel and go to Indianapolis to watch them play against one of the biggest schools in the country sport wise. I mean, it's just indescribable emotionally. Yeah. I'm sure kind of a really cool feeling on campus this morning. Uh, Madeline, you're headed to Indy uh, with the team to cover their first round matchup against Michigan. So give me a quick preview. Yeah. So yeah, they, I mean, they're the sixth seed, which is really, really exciting. That's the highest seed they've ever, I guess, well, actually it would be the lowest seed they've ever been in history. And that, I mean, that was a lot of people didn't really expect that. So that was fun. And then Michigan, Michigan is, they were considered a bubble team. They were, I mean, a lot of people didn't even really think that they were going to get in. So to have CSU and Michigan as the first round matchup, I mean, I'm probably a little biased. I think that Michigan has had kind of an off and on season as, as, for like throughout the whole season and CSU I think has been pretty strong. So I definitely think it's going to be a really, really fun matchup. All right. Well, we're going to get some quick hitters from both of you. Ella, first you, how far can this team go? How far will they go? I worry about this team on the road. You know, we see more consistency in Moby Arena for sure, but I think Michigan is a very, very beatable team. I agree with Madeline. They had a very inconsistent season. I thought we were going to see them in the NIT. I personally did not think they were going to go dancing this year. I think they will come on top in Indy against Michigan, but Tennessee, man, if they see them in that next round, that is a hard, hard win. And I just don't see them going past that second round. Many people pick Tennessee potentially as a two seed. They end up as a three and could face CSU if both teams advance. Madeline, I got to ask you, you're going to be there covering it. How far (laughs) can they go? How far will they go? How far can they go? I think this team, I think this team can go far. I think that they can, they definitely can go to the sweet 16. I 100% believe it. I would kind of disagree with Ella about the road stuff. They have shown they're a really strong road team. They were one of the strongest road teams in the mountain West. So they do, they do have that with them and they have been very good at neutral locations. It is in Indianapolis. So it's a little more of a home game for Michigan, which Mm -hmm. could be seen as, you know, a little bit of a disadvantage for CSU, but I definitely think they can go far. But with Tennessee, I mean, Tennessee is a really, really tough matchup. I think that Tennessee's playing like a one seed right now. So it's absolutely, they could have been a one seed for sure. It's, it's real. It's going to be really, really difficult. I think that round of 32 is where they will make it sweet 16 and maybe even the elite eight is where they could make it. Some insight right there from Fort Collins. Ella, Madeline, thank you so much. Enjoy this. Your team is going dancing. Thanks so much for the time. Thank Thank you, Jason.